Hello, here's a quick uh, recording explaining the find and select features of ARCHICAD. Uh, so right off the bat, the shortcut for this in almost any work environment should be Command F. Uh, that may be different depending on uh, any custom work environments you have. Uh, so the first thing I want to talk about is just the basic selection methods. So you can sit here and say that I want to find a wall and add a criteria to this that says the walls layer is uh, whatever else I need in here. Um, and then go through and track the, the layer that I want to apply to that. A quicker and easier way to do that though is to hold option to get the eyedropper and eyedropper a specific wall. That makes the default settings for that tool uh, match that element as well as the find and select criteria. So if I were to look for an additional criteria, let's say uh, element ID, um, I can add that in here and it automatically fills in the element ID of that wall. Uh, now using the find and select tool uh, is as simple as clicking plus. So I can find all of the walls that are on the interior wall layer that have an element ID of W04. Um, you can also, uh, for example, if I select all walls, uh, oops, let's remove that out of here. Uh, and just as an example, if I want to find uh, just the walls on the interior wall layer, uh, I can select all the walls, and then I can deselect the walls on the interior wall layer. And then I can see I have all of these other walls that are not on that layer. Uh, this becomes a really quick and easy way to find, isolate, edit, uh, and manipulate elements uh, using this find and select feature. Um, beyond this, there are criteria sets, um, and in a teamwork file, there's two types of criteria sets. There's the built-in criteria sets um, and the public criteria sets. Uh, you, can, you can have individual criteria sets as well, uh, depending on how they're stored. Um, and uh, you can import and export criteria sets between different files. Um, so there are some built-in criteria sets here uh, that I use to audit projects on a regular basis. So when I'm looking for elements on the wrong layer, uh, first of all, the ARCHICAD layer should not be used in any floor plan section elevation view. Uh, so if I hit plus here, I can see that there are two elements selected. Um, if I isolate those out, there are two hot spots on the ARCHICAD layer. Uh, so in this particular file, that's, that's a non-issue because this is um, uh, hotspots are non-print elements, so not a problem at all. Um, if you need to create new criteria sets, uh, I can reserve the public criteria sets, as an example. Uh, and then if I wanted to, um, say I want to find walls that are on the interior wall layer, uh, I can set that up as a criteria and say store as, and I can put it in my criteria set that's specific to my local data, so when I leave the project that stuff goes away or I can put it in the public sets. Uh, we do want to lay, name that something that makes sense with the naming conventions in here. Um, these seem kind of scattered, they're not in order here. Um, but you can see I already have a walls interior here, so I can override that criteria set if I need to. Uh, and then once I do a send and receive, that criteria set, uh, the walls interior, is going to be available to everybody in the project. Um, uh, there, there's a lot of different ways to uh, use this find and select tool to quickly isolate things out. Uh, just with schedules, I can add uh, additional element types. So I could say element type is, and then it automatically inputs the and or function there. So it's a wall or it's a column, and it's on the, the wall interior layer. Um, so you can start to build up different uh, criteria sets. But as with all criteria, uh, whether it's with schedules, find and select, uh, um, renovation filters, uh, graphic overrides. The simpler you can make it, the better. Um, you can also uh, combine multiple criteria sets. So I can say I want to find all of these walls and hit plus. Uh, leave those selected and then I can change this to say I want to find all columns and uh, I can remove the, the layer uh, and then it's going to isolate those columns out. Uh, so that's going to give me the ability to isolate out uh, those walls and columns uh, um, separate from the rest of the model. Um, I hope this helps and uh, encourages you to start exploring the Find and Select tool to uh, improve your efficiency in ARCHICAD.